Welcome back to the VOR leg four. Uh, race is starting in 26 minutes. This is probably one of the worst starts I've ever done in Sail Away, so my apologies to my crewmates. Um, reason being, I, I started late. At least I was on the windward side, which uh, helped us on our path down to the first mark. And it was quite painful, as you can see, 5.7 TWS. I'm doing four knots and I wasn't even really that well set up. Uh, some competitors were auto uh, sailing, which is not a problem, but uh, I always like to do manual when I get the chance. In the long races, there's a lot of times when I'm, I'm not doing uh, manual except in uh, extreme weather, but uh, it's nice to get your hands dirty once in a while. So as you can see, across the line, lots of different competitors in front of us and we are still not there and it's uh, gonna be about another 30 seconds before we get there this is the first in a series of a couple of videos I'm going to put up today this one is just for the race start just because it is a bit of a spectacle I'm sorry if I uh, don't know all of the names here I have to put a shout out to Simon who I hope has a, a glass of liquid ambered in uh, in his hand next to me here we have uh, Jasper who has just gone across the line in Australian sales as the rest of the fleet are pretty much in front of us the windward side is a good side to be on here obviously because uh, the angle is pretty tight um, I've moved into three times speed here that's why you see me going past Oh, sorry, not Jasper, it's Hijack 5 uh, that I'm going past. And while I'm mucking around with the main for some reason, I don't know, it's hard to keep a... The field of vision sometimes in this game makes it a lot harder to, to see what's going on around you. And twisting and turning your head is, is pretty hard sometimes. Anyway, as I was saying, the windward side was the best side to be on, and uh, I tried to keep as windward as I possibly could. It allowed me to catch and overtake a couple of guys as I came down to the first mark. Okay, so as we're coming up to the first line here, or the first mark, uh, we'll notice that I believe slow-mo goes around first. Um, we have luckily uh, taken back a bit of that uh, one minute from the start that wasn't such a good thing, and uh, capitalized on our position to make us becoming probably about 7th or 8th at the moment down to this first mark. Now I was talking about uh, field of vision here and although on the map I can see what's going on it makes it very hard sometimes. I'm at the bow of the boat here just to allow me to see a little bit more. I find the back of the boat sometimes when I'm doing races in this 50 especially short races like this well the beginning is a short in, in port race really uh, that I need to be able to see a little bit more field of vision without all the sails in the way. So slow mo went around first, Cedric second, uh, Matt third, and then you can see they've all parked the bus there a little bit. I don't really like uh, parking the bus too much. I like to keep uh, keep going as much as I possibly can. But this is definitely not one of my finest hours. If this was in the mini, I I, uh, I would be very, very angry with myself, but because it's the 50 and it's such a behemoth to actually maneuver around. It's pretty much my, my fault coming through here. I can't turn. I know I can't turn and I'm, but you know, if these are real boats with collision models, then there'd be a difference. And if I was in the mini, I'd be angry with myself. 
and anybody else that was doing what I was doing just then. So, you know, I'm going through uh, through Thor here, and I'm not sure who the other guy is, but I apologize to them for this. Uh, it's not how I would like to race, and uh, if there were consequences, it would be a bit different. Uh, you probably have seen enough of my videos to know how angry I get about uh, other people doing it, and you know, if I do it, I, I put my hand up. That was definitely my fault. So off we go to the second mark. And I'm speeding up time again here. Uh, changing my sail from the jib over to the code O. And I will lose a little bit of a little bit of uh, windward leeward here just to keep in a code O. But once again on the bow of the boat as we shoot up towards the next mark, which is not too far away. Now, by me being able to do this manually, I have to keep an Okoto, but you can see that uh, other competitors here, their sails are, are swapping out when they need to. I don't mind that, but I think that you get a lot of uh, extra extra speed with a bit of manual sometimes. At least I hope uh, I hope that's true. So eventually, I had to give up this losing uh, losing uh, leeward, and uh, I would have to cut back across a bit. That's okay because I know that uh, this is this is just the short part of the long part of the race. Oh, how it would have been nice to have a little bit more wind off of Melbourne, though. Anyway, as we come up to the uh, the next mark here, we can see that uh, Matt and X-Ray have gone around. And I'm just looking at uh, Roy over there, who's now named Thor, I think. And slow-mo goes around, so he was first around the first mark, but then second, third, around that time. Uh, I get close, but this time I'm much more gentle, and I try to go around the back of him. Uh, and as you can see, I'm changing my sail a little bit slow because I'm out of practice. Haven't been sailing that much for a while. Not where I need to change change sails too much. And I pull it all in. We're still at two or three times the speed here. And you can see who's coming through: Jasper, Lewis, Dev, Schnittelheiber, Bonobi, Dingo, and Orbiter. Ah, oh, they're together. That's great. Um, two guys I speak to often: Eon, Pepper's Ghost, Seth Warner. But I never see Simon going around, so I, I, uh, I don't know what the deal is there or where he is. So, uh, halfway through this last little import leg, and I'm trying to get a little bit more to, to windward here, uh, give myself a little bit more advantage. I feel like I've picked up a, a hell of a lot of time considering it's a one minute uh, to the start. To be even in this position um, is pretty good, uh, even if I say so myself. Pretty good, uh, pretty good sailing to get there. And I've got to be happy with with where I am and. And uh, the rest of the VOR is in front of us. So, 
Thor or Roy is uh, is pushing me more and more south as I go. And I'm right on his tail here. I decide that I have to cut back across, and as soon as I cut back across, he does it as well. So good good tactics on his part. I'm trying not to come alongside him here because I don't want to get into his wind shadow, obviously, at, at a critical moment. We've got the first three that go around. And uh, I'm up the back of these two guys. And know once again that going around is not a good thing. Slow mo goes around again there. And I've changed my sails. Which is a nice thing to do when you're going from uh, a Kodo to a jib. And somebody goes through me there, Vestas Racing. So Cedric, uh, yeah, he went through me there, but that's okay. You know, this is, this is, if it was in the Mini, I'd be angry with all of us. But in these 50s, a lot harder, especially with the, the field of vision. So then I'm, uh, I'm finally deciding that what I'm going to do is is cut back across the course and to give myself a, a fairly good wind angle. So I cut back all the way across to almost the uh, the marker I've just come from, and then we're going to head off towards the next or the last mark which is about five or six hours away, so it's, it's not a short leg at all. And then if, about five hours later, uh, here we are, still quite a long way away from the next mark. I was wrong, it wasn't six hours away, it was about 12 hours away. But um, Thor, who had been leading this, this charge, as well, you know, according to the, the leaderboard, he went offline or, no, that's right, he, uh, he spilled some beer on his keyboard and had some problems. Uh, must have been getting pretty late in Brazil for him, as it was. And uh, this is still before the, uh, the server changeover. So we've got uh, a group of people over on our left-hand side there, including X-Ray. And uh, but we're going straight to the line, or and I realise that I've made a bit of a mistake. I don't want to go straight to the line. I want to get as south as I possibly can. So I slowly and surely edge across to do that. So as the sun goes down, uh, we've we've cut our deficit. We're in a good position, and uh, I've only got one little last little clip of this first import series. Uh, because I didn't get to the next mark, I, I fell asleep. I think uh, that Pacific took over. And right at the end here, I could see Fig Jam. I don't know whether you can see him very well, but uh, this is me and Fig Jam right at the uh, at sunset. And it's really nice that you can see people as you're heading out. And that's it for the night.